truly a day that altered our times. 1948, KPIX went on the air. The Beatles are just minutes away. Well, on Friday, we celebrate our 75th anniversary. And over the years, we've covered some major medical breakthroughs, but nothing like this one. Yeah, this is amazing. The mission to save a boy's life after an eight-year-old who literally had open heart surgery and opened his heart for more than a million viewers in the Bay Area. 65 years ago, late at night, KPIX made history with a stunning broadcast. Nothing like it had happened in San Francisco television, or I am tempted to say national television. This was a big deal. This operation is taking place now. What you're watching is the first live telecast of an open heart surgery, the year 1958. Everybody in San Francisco saw this show. Neighbors yelled out their windows, turn on Channel 5! The heart is an amazing organ. Stanford doctors approach Channel 5, the goal to show viewers the latest in modern medicine, a heart-lung machine. The invention made open-heart surgery possible. This machine is designed to imitate the heart and the lungs. KPIX technicians hauled big cameras and snaked cables right into the OR everything needing disinfectant. We had three cameras in the operating room. Camera number one was chained to the ceiling to look down on the surgical wound. Dave Parker was the producer in charge. Everything we were doing was live. And as for that big camera hanging over the patient. I've got to tell you that I had nightmares about that. As for the patient. An eight-year-old boy is on the operating table. Tommy Hunter from Oakland. The little boy seen here with his parents checked into Stanford Hospital, then located in San Francisco. He was born with a heart defect. Without surgery, Tommy's chances of living a long life Life were slim. Tommy had a hole in his heart. The broadcast began at 10 p.m. with experts live in the studio. With me in the operating theater. A mile away in the OR, KPIX news anchor John Weston. Now we are actually looking at the beating heart. The moment of truth was stopping Tommy's heart. Soon the heart-lung machine took over for Tommy's heart. It pumped oxygen-rich blood throughout his body so surgeons could repair the hole in the heart. However, a surprise. Well, we found a bit more than we expected, as a matter of fact. The doctors needed to fix two veins going in the wrong direction. When they finished, the machine was turned off and Tommy's heart took over. That surgery lasted about an hour and a half. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. 1.2 million viewers watched Tommy's surgery. The next morning... Oh, the phones were ringing themselves silly. Nearly 100,000 phone calls swamped the station. And we had to install extra phones. This became an epic for all of us at KPIX. The kid was front page news. As to whatever happened to Tommy. I believe it was a success. I'm still here. Five years ago, we met up with Tom Hunter, living in Port Huron, Michigan. After high school, Tom worked at a local hospital where he met the love of his life, Mary Ann. They've had two children and three grandchildren. We just celebrated our 45th wedding anniversary. As for all the publicity 65 years ago. I mean, it was kind of cool uh, for an eight-year-old. An eight-year-old whose heart made history. Unbelievable mm, when you look at that footage. I yeah. mean, I know that we have much more advanced technology, but it was amazing they were able to pull that off. And still you marvel at the pictures they were able to yeah, I mean, capture. That, that was reality TV before reality TV, right? Yes, in the truest sense. Wow. And they didn't know the outcome. That no, was so remarkable amazing. about it. They like, didn't know they, it was going to work. I don't think they work. would do that now, would they? I don't know. I know it's a lot Not harder live. to get into operating rooms, no question. <sighs> wow. Yeah. Pretty neat to see that. Well, Parker told us that the station did have to come up with a contingency plan in case Oof. Tommy did pass away on the operating table live in front of viewers. They, had, they actually had an experienced physician standing by the KPIX studio who was prepared to talk philosophically about life. Wow. Amazing that they pulled what that off. Moment.